Yeah. All right. You excited to go outside? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah? Okay, let's get out there. Open the door. Let Roxy out. Can you do it with your gloves? No, I can't. No? Okay. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Can't even see where the steps are. Holy. It's a winter wonderland out here. Oh, you're down. Man down. Holy. Smokes. Gotta be right around close to a foot of snow here. Okay, let's get the shovels. We'll start shoveling the walkway over here. So we've got some snow to plow, but first we've got a blank slate of snow over there, untouched, and we got a Subaru. So let's have some fun. Without me, so come on and dip, come on your lips, pop that, come on your lips, and some on your tits, and get ready, cause this shit's about to get heavy, I just settled on my lawsuit, fuck you did it, and this looks like a job for me, so everybody, just follow me, cause we need a little controversy, cause it feels so empty, without me, I said this looks like a So someone comes along on a mission and yells A visionary, vision is scary Can start a revolution, polluting the airwaves of rebel So just let me revel and bask in the fact that I got everyone kissing my ass And it's a disaster, such a catastrophe for you to see So damn much of my ass you ask for me Well I'm back Fix your and it's in a funny Alright, so the machine we're going to be using is this Kubota SSV65 same one I used, I think, uh, almost two years ago now in a video I did plying with a 10 foot snow plow pusher. Or what we got now, sorry, is an eight foot uh, bucket. So big snow bucket, big and wide. I believe it's eight feet. Might even be a little more than eight feet. I'm actually not too sure, but it's at least eight feet wide. It's a big bucket. We just got it. So we got rid of the old snow pusher we had. It was a little too big for this. So we're going to see how this bucket handles now. This will be better to pile stuff up and more general purpose for pushing and piling up snow than the pusher was for our uses anyway so let's see how this one works out okay we're now unsafe safety is gone let's begin just be forewarned you guys are literally just tucked in my jacket the suction thing stopped working on the camera here so improv in this might be a turbulent ride and keep all the snow in the bucket to the end and pile it up nice and high. Not a bad first pass. What do you think, call it a day or keep going? All right, 
fine. Let's keep going. the window open they said for better visibility ah uh, that wasn't fun okay note to self gotta keep the window closed i got some cleanup to do here hey, let's fill up the whole cab <laughs> Anyone who's got a GoPro out there can probably understand that frustration there. What I typically find is that if the battery has already been used, like it's not a brand new battery at 100%, um, like that's the case here, if you use it to record and it loses a little bit of percentage and then gets cold, yeah, then you go to record and it only gets you like 20, 30 seconds and it shuts off.
and then I did a shot, very dramatic drone shot up and down the driveway, which you guys already saw. And now it's just a, a long straight shoot here. So if it's usually very heavy snow, I might stop halfway and do something like this. Just turn off onto the grass and leave it there. But this snow, it's a lot, but it's very fluffy. Very uh, dry. It's pretty cold, so it's, it's a big snow, but it's very dry. But either way, to not push it across the road, you know, I'll push it over here. Should probably get these wipers going. Yeah, it's a lot more power. Again, this is very light, fluffy snow. So there's a lot more power. Sorry, there's a lot more power behind this Bobcat with, with this particular bucket compared to the pusher. Again, being the fact that I, I don't think it pushes as much, but also this is a very light load of snow. So I really haven't tested it on a heavy dumping. If this was wet and this much snow, this would be a very hard time here. I might have to actually go get the smaller bucket to be able to push this around. Some people have mentioned winter tires for their skid steer that they use if they're doing like, I guess, a lot of plowing. We used to do a lot of commercial plowing. So if that was the case, I would definitely uh, look into that. But we don't do a lot of commercial, well, actually we don't do any commercial plowing anymore. So it's kind of pointless for us to go ahead and get uh, all those tires and fancy gear for just cleaning up. We just do our driveway and the shop and a few things around, like nothing, nothing major. So there's no need for us to go and get any crazy equipment. I just need a skid steer that I'll push it with a bucket. That's all I need. We really just need something to just able to clean up the snow, stack it a little bit where necessary, and that's really it. That's all we really need. Oh yeah, I forgot I got lights. Those might be handy. I don't know if that helps anybody see any better. Let there be light! Final step. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. We've all been in the cab right there. Got about a third of the way up. Buried in snow. No more. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little fun. It kind of feels like I'm in an aquarium, but am I the one in the aquarium because I'm the one enclosed? Huh. That's some food for thought. All right, that's it. We're all done here. We're gonna go over to the shop driveway. Rabbit mode engaged. And let's come in here. I don't even know what to do here. I'm gonna just go down the middle. Maybe come back up each way and then back down the middle again. I don't know. This thing's just plowing through though, pretty good. This is that area where I was doing all the, uh, let's just say off-roading with the Subaru earlier. Sorry, this is brutal.
back in here. Give you guys a little shot of the chaos over here. Now that it's getting dark. Just piling it all up at the back here. And then I got like a whirlwind of snow every time. I gotta do in here now. I don't know if I even fit with this big bucket here. The skid steer is broken down, that's why it's sitting here. It has no hydraulic oil in it. Okay. It's okay, guys. Crisis averted. I figured out how to shut off the wiper there for a second. Struggling there. It's so dark and lonely in here. Easy to lose your bearings. Mostly clean. Gonna have to clean up around this thing. Oh, off the back tray, whatever, move that later. I'm not gonna be too concerned about this right now. Gonna clean up a little bit in front of my pumps here. here in front of my pump. I gotta come fill up some diesel on my truck I think tomorrow so I'm just gonna get this cleaned up finish up cleaning that laneway that we came in just did the one pass and then I think we're all done. thing into there. Came back, I thought for sure this thing was gone. I'm sorry for the absolute terrible filming. Yeah, all in all, if you got a small property, just a couple driveways, like small driveways or whatever, like a bigger bucket like this is just fine. And it actually works a little better in some tight spots if you just want to scoop some snow out and take it away or pile things up a little nicer and neater. It's definitely the better thing than having to go switch buckets and whatever. Might not be the most efficient, might not be as efficient, but in some ways it's more efficient. So again, for what we use it, it's more than good enough. Totally forgot I had those nice spotlights here so you guys could have seen this all a lot better. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, well, that's pretty good for now. We got her mostly cleaned up. A little tidying up we can do later on, but okay, I'm gonna have to move that skid steer in the next week or two, get it in the shop. I don't have stuff now to bring to the house. So, anyways, it's time to get in and make some supper. Potatoes, we got some potatoes, some leeks, and a few of the things are ready inside. Don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.